Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again. I'm here with the NVIDIA Shield TV console, and I wanted to show you some PSP performance on this unit. I have a few games loaded up here. Now, I've tested a few of them, and they run pretty well. First up, let's do Tekken 6. I will fast forward through all the initial cutscenes for you guys so we can get right into gameplay. As you can see, we have a As you can see, we have the frames per second up in the right hand corner. We're steady at 60. Let's see how it is when we get two people on screen battling. I think Bob is going to be awesome. Okay, so we're dropping down to 52 frames. Not bad performance. I've had, I've tried this on a Snapdragon 810 before, and it was pretty much unplayable, so this is a good sign here. Now, all the settings are stock within the PSP emulator. And this is definitely playable. It's, um... Oh. Sweet. Yeah, it's definitely playable at this frame rate. I have not been able to play this game on... A device all with the stock settings. I do have some leg shaky here down at the bottom if you saw them uh, kind of glitching out there. Paul is a beast. Ah. Yeah, we got a lot of glitching in the leg area there. I gotta say the frame rate is great though for the Tekken 6 game being emulated within Android. I'm gonna back out. I'm gonna go to the main menu and we will try a different game. I am gonna try God of War Chains of Olympus. Now this is one of the roughest games to run on your Android emulator. I have never really been able to get over 30 frames. Yeah, even on the main menu, I was having really bad stuttering with every other device that I've tried this with. For some reason, this game is super hardcore to emulate on an Android device. And it should run at 60 frames. We are a little laggy at 45. This is the fastest I've been able to run this, though, like I said, so... I'm pretty happy. Yeah. Still very laggy. Let's try some speed ups. We're going to go back. Settings. And we'll set this to low. Coming from the small screen on the PSP to the big screen here it is very pixelated. Let's 
So I wouldn't say this is unplayable. It definitely has its moments where it lags out pretty good, but... Leave me alone. really isn't all that bad. Even with all this going on, it's still at 50 frames. I know we're in a tight, closed space here, but... Trying to evade. It's just not letting me. Missed it, man. I totally forgot. My buttons must not be set up correctly because I should not have missed that. But you guys get the gist of this game running on this NVIDIA Shield. We're going to back out. I'm going to try another game. Little Big Planet. Now we should definitely be able to run this at 60 FPS. Or 30 if that's what it's locked at. Definitely. I'm going to up the resolution on this game because it's really not too hard to run this game on a lot of devices. So we're going to see if we can get some. Let's go three times. Man, that looks so much better. I'm going to try to go to four now. Wow, it definitely looks really good. And we're steady at 30 frames. Let's go to five, and we'll leave it at that. That's as high as we can go with this. Now this is taking, taking the rendering resolution of the game itself and going five times with the PSP put out.
very nice. It is beautiful. I might play through this game again. It just looks so much better. It looks like PS3 Little Big Planet at the resolution we're stuck at now. That's it, guys. That runs amazing. So that's just a few games uh, running on the PPSSPP emulator on the NVIDIA Shield um, TV console. So if you guys got any requests for games or if you guys know any settings that I can add to the God of War game to get it to run I really, really, really would like to get it to run at 60 frames per second, but it's a little harder game to run on a Android device at 60 frames. So I appreciate you guys watching. If you could, hit that like button and subscribe. I got a lot more coming. Thanks for watching.